Okay, so the last video, we were working out the standard deviation, having already done a video on how to work out the mean. So we're left with finding the mean and the standard deviation. So uh, I went online because I wanted to make this realistic, and I found a study that was conducted between 2011 and 2014 in the USA where they measured the heights of 5,547 women. That's huge sample size, so you know I think it should be representative, and the people studying it seem like they did a reasonable job. So you know, uh, I'll trust their data. It seems like good secondary data. Now all the women were over twenty, so we'd expect most of their growth will have taken place, uh, and therefore when they found that their lower quartile was one hundred and fifty six point seven centimeters and their 90th percentile was 170.9 centimetres, that's the information I'm going to use to be able to work out my normal distribution, and I need to find the mean and standard deviation. So the first thing I'm going to do, as in all of these situations, is I'm going to draw myself a normal distribution curve. Uh, this is the third or fourth one today, so I'm slowly getting better. Right, I've got that the lower quartile which is 25% was 156.7. And I've got the 90th percentile, so I'm just going to colour in this bit and say, well, that's the 10% then. And that was 1710.9. Now, of course, those of you who know about Americans and how they do things, I actually had these numbers in inches and I had to convert them. Uh, I used a conversion of 2.54 centimetres as an inch. And so that's how we've got our numbers. Now, much same as all the normal distributions we've done so far, if I go back to my calculator and go to normal distribution, I need to know a standard deviation and mean to be able to work this out. So once again, like in all of these ones that we've done, we need to use the standard normal. Okay, so over here, I'm going to kind of divide my page into two. Because this one, I'm going to work out the standard normal where the area, so the tau is the left, the area is 0.25, my standard deviation is 1, and my mean is 0. And that's going to give me a Z value. And on this one, I'm going to do my tau. Well, my tau for this part is the right. And of course, remember this can change in every new question that you do. The area is 0.1, my standard deviation is 1, and my mean is 0, and I'm going to get a Z value. Now, remember this. This is my X value, which is 156.7, and this is my X value, which is 170. Point nine. So into my calculator I go, and so I've got to go zero. Uh, tau is the left, my area is 0 0.25, and that gives me a z value of minus 0 0.6744 or 4567444. Five, and this one I'm going to go. My tau is to the right. My area is 0 0.1, and that gives me 1.282. 1.28. I'm actually going to go one. 
six to keep my number of decimal places the same on both sides. Right, notice how this one's negative and this one's positive, and that makes sense because this value is on the left of my mean and my mean is zero, so it's going to be negative, and this value is to the right of my mean and my mean is zero, so that's going to be positive. Remember how when we were working with our normal distribution, we had this value. Well, if I think about that formula, z equals x minus mu over sigma, I can rearrange that. So z equals x minus mu over sigma. So I'm going to multiply both sides by sigma. So I'm going to get z sigma equals x minus mu. So z sigma plus mu equals x. And that's actually the form of the equation I'm going to write. So I'm going to do this one in blue, and I'm going to do this one in red. And once I've done those, we will look at those equations and we'll work out what that we're going to do next. So I've got minus 0 0.6745 sigma plus mu equals 156.7 and I've got this one which is 1.2816 sigma plus mu equals 170.9 now those are a pair of simultaneous equations and if you're so inclined you can work out what that is algebraically. I'm inherently lazy, and my graphics calculator has a simultaneous function underneath the equation part. So the same place we've been going to do solver is got a simultaneous equation bit. So I've got to go in and say I've got two unknowns, and this is in the same format as these equations, which is why I did that rearranging a minute ago. So all I've got to do is I've got to take the coefficients of each part. So I'm going to take the coefficient of sigma, I'm going to take the coefficient of mu, and I'm going to take the coefficient of the number. Of course, the coefficient of mu is there's no number written there, must be 1. So I've got 1.2816, 1, 170.9, one, and I've got minus 0 0.6745, 1, 56.7. And when I click solve, the first number it gives me is my standard deviation, because that's the first thing I put in. So my standard deviation is. 7.26. So standard deviation is 7.26 centimeters. And my mean is 161.6. So mu is 161.6. centimeters and there you go i've managed to find both my mean and standard deviation okay hope you followed that uh that's probably the last normal distribution video i'm going to make so all good i hope that helps uh there'll be some triangle and some uniform distribution videos coming so until next time good luck